close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. This is our Ugandan Skyboy 5X SB1 and uh, really we have been working on it for five years now and we're almost doing the completion of the whole aircraft and soon we are hitting the skies. I go by the names uh, Innocent Mugari and uh, I'm uh, one of the innovators of this project. Uh, this project right now, it has been running for five years now, but uh, right now we are towards completion. I think in a month or two, we shall be done and doing the first test flight. And uh, right now, like uh, on what we have, ch we have achieved right now, like the plane, if we test it, it can get off the ground, but we are still doing the safety bit of it and finishing up with the final wiring of the whole plane. And uh, right now I can say that it's almost 92% uh, of the whole finished up thing. So I expect in around two to three months we shall be doing the first test flight when we know we are really safe with it. Yeah. And this project right now, uh, we, have, we have done most of the finish on its body, like fuselage and the wings. And now we expect to hi hit the sky very soon. Now, like, the most challenging thing about this project, it's really a very expensive venture, as you know, aviation. So, and mostly the biggest bit of it, we have been the ones trying to search for, for the financial, financial input into the whole project. And some of the times, like, even looking for the materials, because uh, you can get the money, but some of, uh, like, we use chemicals and other different composites, 
but some of them you may find when they're not available at the time when you need them. So it slows you a bit on, even though you've set a time, a time frame on which you finish it and you've got some money, sometimes like materials, scarce of materials. Yeah, for basically in this particular field of uh, air engineering and the uh, aviation industry, I think uh, the government should uh, come in to help out people who are doing more of uh, design and manufacture because first and foremost, if you look at our aviation structure, like um, the government has not uh, looked so much into the design and manufacture of aircraft. Mainly they are dealing with more of uh, importing aircraft from outside. So I think if they could do more of uh, technical support and injecting more financial more financial resources into the aviation industry of Uganda, I think it would be a, a very big industry because uh, such projects, they can help us. If we are building aircraft from Uganda, we can find ourselves we are helping out even pilots, uh, like maybe students, pilots, making aircraft for more of uh, training pilot training that's uh, commercial private and also projects like aircraft uh, can also impact like uh, we can say farming also military depending uh, one of the one of the thing we were looking at at such projects we are looking at the agricultural industry because, and also like um, such projects can be used uh, to spray pesticides and also do like uh, any other disease control with plants on farms. Uh, yeah. So I think like uh, if you are building such in Uganda, we can cut down the cost because if you look at purchasing a plane from outside countries, you find it so expensive to get one. Yeah. 